It's Advent. We are we prepare for the coming of Jesus. And you and I are celebrating Advent because we are Catholics. Why you and I are Catholics? How? Because people like Francis Xavier brought the religion, brought Catholicism to all the mission lands. That's why the solemnity of mission lands, solemnity for us especially. Francis Xavier was preaching the good news all over the world. And that's where exactly the Gospel of Mark today speaks of the mission given and trust to them to go out, go to, out to the whole world and proclaim the good news to all creations. And St. Paul rightly says, Woe to me if I don't preach. So you and I have a duty, duty of Francis Xavier, duty that had Francis Xavier, the duty exactly what Francis Xavier did. You have that duty to do the same thing. Because Christmas, in Christmas, word became flesh and lived among us. So, when we preach the word, when we deal with the word, the word will give faith. Faith comes by hearing. Romans chapter 10 verse 17. So, faith, in faith, the word became flesh and lived among us. The word is the thing that became flesh. So what? So when we when we have the word, when we, when we, when we, when we are in that presence of the word, we will have trust. In that trust, we can do marvelous things. So in faith, in faith, there are promises happen. Signs like this will accompany those who have believed in my name, they will cast out demons and speak new languages. They will pick up snakes and if they drink any poisonous, they poisons, they will be unharmed. They will lay their hand on the sick and they will be healed. So this is what happened when they hear the word. My dear friends, if we don't live, live with power, if we don't do what we should do. We, we, are, we li our lives become so rich and useless. That's why St. Paul says, vote to me if I don't preach. So you have a duty to proclaim. Word became flesh and lived among us. So you have, now that word, you have a duty to make make people experience Jesus. Not with, a, not with a statue. Something beyond that. With the word. When you preach the word, Christ will be present with them. That's why he says, they will lay their hands. That's it. So then after speaking to them, the Lord Jesus was taken up in heaven and took his place in the right hand of God. And eleven went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by the signs that accompanied them, accompanied it, accompanied it. Lord started acting with them with the word. So, Jehova Shamma, the presence of God was with them with the word. So Christmas, more than we deal with the crib, Santa Claus, or Christmas trees, decorations, and everything. You have to deal with the word. So with the word, you will begin to experience the presence. The moment you experience presence, you have power. You, before, before your birth, you are called to this mission. You are given this mission. You are entrusted. You are chosen when you were in mother's womb to be a prophet. It's all, it's all the same. In baptism, you and I have the same calling. 
to proclaim, evangelize, to spread Jesus, my dear friends. So, it's time of Advent where we prepare, prepare for the coming of the Lord with hope. We lighted the candle of hope. So, with the word, we are, we are, we have to go out to give that hope to the other people, give that faith to the other people. In that faith, they, their lives will be eternal, completely lost eternity. They will have power to live with authority. So, if so, woe to me if I don't preach. So, this is my duty, guys. No, you can't boast about your preaching because this is what you should do definitely. If the pen, if the pen, pen, the meaning of pen is to write. After writing, Pen can't boast about it because it is made to write and you are born to preach. St. Francis of Assisi says, you preach if it is really necessary. Use words. Think about it. Make your life a sermon and give your whole life to him. Amen. May God bless you.